Uganda's main opposition National Unity Platform, or NUP party, says it has established an opposition leadership school in the country. This will be the first of its kind in Uganda. Party leader Robert Chakulai, also known as Bobby Wine, says the school will teach various political and social economic subjects to party members and other interested Ugandans. He tells me the more the citizens are educated about the political process, the more they can contribute to the development. Thank you very much, James. We recognize that in Uganda there's a, a deficit of leadership. The military dictatorship that took over the country 38 years ago made sure that they destroy any kind of civic engagement. Uh, political education was abolished in schools, and even the history of Uganda has now been altered. So we saw it imperative for us to establish a leadership school where we can prepare leaders and uh, empower them with the knowledge and uh, appreciation of the dynamics that have shaped the political history of Uganda. So what will you be teaching? Well, we are going to be teaching uh, leadership skills, communication skills, policy, and all that. But most importantly, we want to simplify what we learned in higher uh, institutions of learning for the common people, majority of our people are ghetto people. They lack the formal education, but they appreciate the leadership deficit in their country. We want to transform the education that we got from universities as, as big as Harvard to a normal uh, layperson's understanding, an ordinary human understanding. Honorable, do you think the topic of corruption will be one of the subjects? Definitely, definitely corruption has been a cancer that has ravaged our country and we have to teach our people about it, how to resist it. Uh, first of all, we are, want to uh, open their minds to the extent that corruption can damage a country, but also to empower them with alternative ideas to fight corruption. You say you need leaders who will resist uh, the temptation of uh, power. What does that mean? Well, power corrupts. And since power corrupts, we are also, you know, prone to corruption since we are seeking power. Although we are seeking power to transform a country, we need to prepare ourselves to be able to resist the trappings and temptations of power. Human rights also. Most definitely. Uh, we want to teach people about their constitutional rights, but also civic duties, so that uh, it's a double benefit for our country. When do you think the, the school is going to come into existence? The school is in existence right now. That was Ugandan opposition leader Rabo Chakulai, also known as Bobby Wine. He was speaking with us from the capital, Kampala. A violent clash over the weekend between two clans in central Somalia has killed at least 55 people and injured another 155 residents and medical officials said on Monday. Somalia's federal government is not only struggling to contain violence unleashed by the Al-Qaeda-linked Al-Shabaab group, but is also facing clan-based clashes over control of land and water in the Horn of African nation. The fighting between the Dil and Mali Han clans, which used to jointly fight Al-Shabaab years ago, erupted on Saturday in Abduwak and Herale towns in Galmudug region over grazing land and watering points, said Falah Nul, a clan elder and resident of Herale. Government forces came late. Unfortunately, 55 people died. This includes both clans, he told Routers. It was easy to stop, but it didn't happen. The situation got out of hand and spread like a weird fire. Senior Galmudug officials did not immediately respond to Rauta's request for comments on the incident. Personnel from hospitals in Herale, Abuak and two other adjacent towns confirmed to Rauta's they had attended to 115 people who were wounded in the fighting. Those who died were buried immediately, residents said. 
The fighting subsided following the arrival of federal government soldiers, residents said. There is a ceasefire, but the mood is not good. A permanent ceasefire is needed. Sadia Hussein, a mother of four, told routers from Abdul Dwak.